So now you guys are live. Let me switch over to the pre-stream. There we go. Oh, thank you for following, Celie. Of course. <laughs> I was a little hurt, but now I'm not. <laughs> I have this stupid rule that at first I was like, I'm only gonna follow people when I can sit and watch their whole stream, and then it, but it didn't work very well, and then I would be like, oh my gosh, I thought I was following this person, but I'm not, and now I'm ah, so now I'm just like, nope. If I think about it, I'm following. Cause I'm so bad. <laughs> okay, I silenced my phone. Let me finish up this um, post. Watch the comedy interview podcast. Live now. Mm. Have fun with some watery beef tubers. Oh gosh, I'm so glad I got to get all of this organized just in time. <clears throat> We're just gonna do VTuber on this one because I already did an Ian VTuber. Um, and am I forgetting anything? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. Okay. And profile, and then I'm gonna link this in your guys' stands and link it everywhere else, like normal. Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad to have you guys here. <clears throat> it's nice to see you both, McCoken and I'm Buck. <laughs> Which should I call you? At Ad Lear or Buck? Buck seems normal because that's how I know you, Buck. <laughs> Are you two there? Carmina? Seely? Oh, yes. <laughs> I just saw the chat. You went silent for a bit there. I thought you were talking to chat, so I was just being quiet. Yes. No, <laughs> you can talk to chat too. Oh, welcome. <laughs> uh, let me promote in my favorite places. Um, let's see. Um, do I want to come out anywhere else? Oh, he still hasn't seen one of these streams, so self promotion it goes. Um, I wish I could just promote to everywhere all at once. Wouldn't that just be so much easier? Design like an app. You should, you should design an app that connects to all the socials and you just do one post and it that's doesn't do true. all of them. That's true. It would be an app that I would design. Okay, and I think that's all the people I feel like linking to right now. I could link to more, but I'm not particularly, I don't particularly count. Oh my god, Lufina, you're here. Oh my god. <laughs> You're the, like, one of the few people I sim for. Hi, Aelfric. Welcome. Don't trust Aelfric. Don't trust Aelfric. What did Aelfric do? Aelfric's an evil <laughs> eel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Even Aelfric doesn't trust Aelfric. Okay, you all got me now. Oh, oh gosh. I just realized I don't have the uh, audio pulled up, so I need to go do that right now. <laughs> and downloads, and... What? What's going on? Okay. 
Give me a moment. Sorry about this chat. I have to go get my password from somewhere. Catch your Luigi's Mansion streams, Lupino. I've just been so freaking busy and my internet keeps going out. <laughs> uh, I'm still happy to have you here. Also, thank you for following Thought Jesus. Can I say that you have an extremely cursed um, image? <laughs> I was looking at it on Twitter. I was like, oh my god, this is incredibly cursed. <laughs> uh, FJ is going to have uh, their model be able to move, but not the know. legs, I think, so it'll be even better. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh my god, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> Oh god, Beck, please don't count down. You'll give me a panic attack. <laughs> um. Oh, shot. I forgot something. Why don't I set it up so they can actually see the collab? Um, from you, both of you guys. Authorize. Get through here. <clears throat> we'll be starting very soon here. I'm just fixing a chat command that's pointing to the wrong people right now. This is the last stream that I did. So we're gonna do Sealy and Carmina. Go X Carmina, Tempest, Bumbox. Okay, nice. A lot of that doesn't come down to what plugins you have. I mean, sure, having a, the right reverb helps and everything. Uh, it really comes down to what's what's in your head and what's in here, what's in your heart. Okay, I'm all done. I'm all ready. Nothing left. And those two things Hooray. are what make the best video games. <laughs> Okay. Exciting. There we go. Oh my gosh, thank you for following on here. Just so you know, the link has Carmina's name attached to me. Wait! <laughs> Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Oh no. That's how we find out you're the same person. It's really difficult to manage our voice at the same time. Yes, yeah. it's uh, it's it's a skill. Or something you learn from reading about, <laughs> uh, YouTube videos or anything. I think that's uh. really something you learn from doing it, from trying it over and over and over and over. There, no, no, it fix nothing. <laughs> Please! Stream elements, please! Stream elements is like, nope, this is this is the way it's gonna be. Okay. What if I put a dash and a space and I save it like this? What if I what if I do it like this this time? 
Hey, you're welcome on in, Rakir. We aren't going to mock you in this stream. Oh, but it, it's it's simply not a stream with me in it if there's no mocking Rocky. Well, we have mocked Rocky. <laughs> so too bad. Rocky, no, I will give you a hug. I'll be the only one to shelter you here. Oh my god, I didn't edit the stream information, did I? Okay. The probe. <clears throat> the pro probe. My keyboard isn't working. Oh, up. Seven. Starring. Nina. Tempez. And. And Seely. Box. Scotty. Change it to just chatting. And interview. All right. Done. Everything's ready. We're almost time. This is why I give myself 15 minutes, because I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, there, there's only professional things going on in here. Yes. <laughs> so smooth. Um, let me get one of my mods in here. That is exactly right, Rekki. You cannot rush perfection. Unless you're me, because I'm so perfect, I can rush perfection. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna get to the um, intro real soon. You guys remember your roles? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The hour is upon us. Switch over. Two thousand years ago, humans built an island. Five hundred years ago, it was abandoned. Two hundred and thirty years ago, an alien ventured her way into the stars. And in the present, their paths collided. In the wake of her crash landing, she set out to learn more about this place, about Earth. The show you are about to see contains mature themes, deep lore, and advice that should never be followed. Viewers under 18, be advised. And for the rest of you, welcome. I am your host, Captain Fernia Galley, and this is The Probe with Fernia Galley. Now, to introduce my guests. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Celie, please. I'm here, I'm sorry. Introduce yourself. My name is Celie. I'm a water spirit who is lucky enough to manifest a physical body, and I'm super derpy, as you can tell. 
I like to play games. I like to do silly chatting streams like reading the back of Vermont novels and um, art shenanigans and things like that. It's nice to meet you. Carmina? Um, <laughs> my name is Carmina Tempest, or usually just Carmina Carmina. Um, I guess I'm your global fish AI, or depending on who you talk to, fish god. Um, honestly, I, I just enjoy eating fish, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that I think that sums everything up. Let me get the music started, and everyone back into the mood. <clears throat> so we have a few different notes before we start. Um, first off, I have talked to you both extensively about the program, and you have given your consent to be on here. Can we hear it verbally? Yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, what are your pronouns? Uh, mine are she or they. Okay. Um, mine are she, her. And mine are she, they. So, works out. Um, one last note about redeems. Since we're doing a special stream, some of the redeems behave differently. If you make a redeem, it may not actually happen during the stream. If we do not get to your redeem, you will be refunded your points. If you want the best chance of your redeem going through, do it in the second half of every hour. <clears throat> are we good with that? I think we are. Let's move into the advice portion. I actually need your guys' advice on something. Think you can help me out? Maybe. I'll try my so, best. Recently, I did a bit of you know, like an oopsie woopsie fucky wacky and a scout ship I sent out may have, you know, tripped an oil pipeline, no. rupturing it, sending all of the oil into the ocean. What? <laughs> oh, that is, that is just tragic. Yes, it's terrible. And now, like, my beaches are covered in black sand. I'm trying to do damage control here. Like, for me personally, I'm not super big on the environment. But, 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 but I don't, I don't understand. Go well, ahead. okay. There's this thing called oil, and it sells for a lot of Earth money. So I figured I could make a bunch of oil and ship it to the rest of Earth. Well, my advice would be to do um, more environmentally friendly containers so you don't have accidents and lose all your money, aka the oil. Well, yeah, but I can just make more. I'm just wondering how they manage this PR disaster, because it, it looks terrible on me. Um, just dye the, the ocean blue again. Oh yeah, dye the ocean blue. Oh, of course. That, that'll that work. Except, um... Just blackmail a bunch of people that you know and tell them to clean it up fast or you tell them your secret. <laughs> so I guess I can start by blackmailing you then, Celie. I can't, I can't travel. I can't. You can't travel over the sea. Come on, you're a water spirit. You should yeah, have this I, down. Yeah, but I'm Isn't bound to my anchor. Point? I can't, I can't travel too far away from it. Okay. I mean, that's fair, but why not just take the anchor with you? Um, so imagine that the anchor is like a heart, and mm -hmm. it's fragile like a heart. And mm -hmm. so moving it anywhere than, other than where it's supposed to be uh, would, would be very dangerous. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about external hearts. That's just ridiculous. I just, okay, if you need a heart, humans have them, and there's humans everywhere. In fact, most animals have a heart. No, no, my anchor, uh, it's, it serves like a, it's my, it's my analogy to try to make it make sense to, uh, humans. I'm not a human, but continue. A human and other, other living creatures and people and things. Am I living? Yes, probably. <laughs> Okay, but, but, okay, so putting aside my PR, there's one other thing I need your help with. 
So because of aforementioned oil spill, uh, you know, the oil, it just, it gets into fur, right? Right? Yes. So all of these seals that I've been clubbing to make like really cute boots, it's, it's ruining that industry. What do I do here? Re <laughs> <laughs> what what what's so wrong here? The, it's for boots. They're really cute. It's in style right now. Uggs. Just claim claim that they are uh, they're the real seal fur and uh, simply just use fake. Just scam the entire industry. Yeah, fake fur is cheaper. Scamming the industry. Why didn't I consider that earlier? This is a much better plan than what I was doing. Do you know how much effort it is to club a seal? Oh, it is it's just, it's simply so much effort. It like, is so much effort. Like, you guys are saving me so much time. Oh, okay. I do have some advice um, that other people want to know. So why don't we dive into it and see how we can help them today. Hookening asks, you're telling me I can't cuddle a kitty to replace human touch? I think they can. I think humans can be replaced by any small adorable animal. Just put them in a suit. I, I agree. I think um, cuddling small, cute, adorable critters is probably better than cuddling most humans. <laughs> yeah, I, I second that. Um, it, it is better in every way. Okay, but what if uh, and Pot Jesus rings this up and this is a really good this is a really good starting point. What if you could cuddle a giant cat? No laggy kidding, the suit is not a requirement. Oh, I would 100% be first in line to cuddle like a just a ginormous cat. Like a like a lion, a, a tiger. Oh yeah. Yeah, we could, we could all cuddle Makokan. Makokan's a tiger, VTuber. Oh, I, I'd be so down for that. <laughs> and, and as long as they wanted the cuddles, then I would supply as many cuddles as possible. Okay, so we'll cuddle Laggy Kitten and Makokan. I think that I think that sums up who we need to cuddle and when. You're sweating, but you know what? You will be sweating more when our little paws are all over you. Okay, my next question. Hanako asks, what is good soup? Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Mm -hmm. Like in terms of like good soup flavors or like the, the joke good soup. Wait, there's a joke that's good soup? Okay, let me know the joke yeah. first. It's it's just this clip of um uh, I don't remember the actor's name, but he's he does like the, the okay hand symbol and he's like good soup. <laughs> and, and that's the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh, the humans are entertained by such simple things. I don't get it, but now I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good soup. Okay, but but for real, I mean like in terms of soup that I really enjoy, broccoli cheddar, probably my favorite. What what like, what yeah. I think my favorite is miso soup. I just sort of like it simple. Okay. Um honestly. For me, wonton soup hits different. Wonton soup? I, I don't actually think I've tried wonton soup. Oh, it is. It's a must try. It, it's so good. Okay. I'll have to give it a look at. But okay. And let's look at this from the final angle that we never approached. How do we make good soup? water and toss in everything everything that's good put um, in the special sauce the special sauce what's the special sauce <laughs> i have no idea but i always hear about people saying special sauce so i imagine it must need to go into soup 
Okay, um, I'm, I kind of want to dive into this, but it seems like you're not the expert who can consult with. No, I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm still <laughs> learning, so it's just what I've heard. Mexican Fio I can't say that. Mexican soup is really good, but I can't find it anywhere in Canada. I feel that relaxed too bad. There's a lot of foods that I want to get that I just can't from the city that I'm in. Like, it's easy to find seaweed in the store, for example, but it's not easy to find bulk seaweed. I want all the seaweed. I think we could hook you up. Oh, yeah. Oh, infinite that's right. Supply. Oh, infinite supply. I just need to, what, chain you up? Like, what's that? I'll just have some fish send it to you. Just get by the water. I could make an algae mania. That's a pretty good idea. Welcome on in, Brad. Um, okay, next question. Cereza asks, God, I'm so edgy. Help me. <laughs> is, that the, is that the question? <laughs> that is the question. How do we make someone that is edgy nice and soft? There's no help. <laughs> the real? There's no help. What about a, um, a nail file? Would that help with the edges? Well, I mean, yeah, we can make them child safe. Good to touch. I'm just imagining now, like, Cloud Strife as a babysitter. There's a lot of people who don't deserve to watch over children. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad or just look like some stuffed animals and duct tape it around them? It's hard to be edgy if you have duct, uh, stuffed animals duct taped to yourself. It is also Ooh, hard to be edgy if we like draw things on their face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to be edgy with like a penciled on mustache. Oh, that, that's actually, that's quite genius. It's perfect. I think that's the most cost-effective solution, Sereza. You need to pencil on a mustache. Okay, next question. Tokens asks, Dear all VTubers with horns, may I please stick marshmallows on them, then roast them? Or maybe just <laughs> donuts? Or just let me put things on said horns? Thank you. So, let's talk, Steely. No, no, they're not horns. They're antlers. They're not horns. Antlers are just a type of horn, aren't they? No, no. I've had this very conversation with my chat I, this week. I think to chaos. I think we could at least like decorate them for Halloween. Hang like a little candy bucket from one side and stick some bats in the other. That's fine. Like, I, uh, just be, it was just an argument that Chet had and it was crazy. But no, I, I love decorations on my antlers. I like to, I love accessories. So I would allow it if they, especially marshmallows. I've never tried that before. You know, that would mean that we have to stick your head over a fire like your landlord or something. Oh, that's not good. I mean, if, as long as it's just a little bit, I'll steam a little bit so people could get like some nice esteem um, helps with your sinuses. So mm -hmm, you can multitask mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. So no putting you on like a rotisserie with the marshmallows on your horns. Yeah, I don't, I could turn my body into water, but then I wouldn't really stick on it. So it would be hard. I'll just rotate myself. I'll just try. <laughs> I'll just, just bend over. That'll just make wet marshmallows though. Carmina, have you ever eaten wet marshmallows? Um, actually, I have. What? Have experience. <laughs> what? Happens a lot when I'm right. All right, going going outside after like camping and finding the the marshmallow bag a little damp with the dew, uh, and just particularly hungry led to a not fun experience with moist wet marshmallows. <laughs> Moist mallows. Oh god. Moist mallows. Moist Moist mallows. mallows. Okay, next question. 
Rickaroo asks, Yes. Hello, I am the queen of run-on sentences. What is punctuation? I should note here, for the record, that they are getting a D for punctuation. They didn't even capitalize I. What is capitalization? Ca capitalization is when you colonize the planet and you stick a city in the middle of it. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I cannot help. Okay, but what what about what about punctuation? That's when you stick a knife in something. Oh, that that I can help you with. Okay, Carmina, can you help us out? Okay, so you go up to something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You you look them square in the face. Then you punctuate uh, then, them. Yeah, yeah. You just you punctuate punch them. them. So Carmina. Okay, we, we would like to practice our punctuation. I mean, you're fine with it, right? On me? Yeah, you don't have blood. It's perfect. Yeah, but do you know how expensive I am to replace? All right? Five dollars? <laughs> you're right. That That's my bad. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Last question of this segment. AI Candy asks, Oh, so we're doing identity theft now, huh? And I would like to say, this is an exciting prospect. Taking another person's identity. No one has an identity if you just keep swapping identities. Oh yeah, but I mean, taking it from them, like, hollowing out their body and using it as a skin suit. Oh god. Is this <laughs> another weird human thing? Because I am completely lost. I told you I'm not way. human for the last time. I thought, I don't know where the question came from, I'm sorry. Well, like, just the questions saying we're gonna do identity stuff now. So who, who would you, what person? Would you impersonate if you wouldn't get in trouble for it, and you could do it right now? Oh, that's a good question. Does it have to be a person, like a human? Can it be any any creature? I think it could be any creature, honestly. If you want to hollow out the bones of a kitty, um, just be part of them now. Does, does it mean that they die <laughs> if we do this? Well, I mean, you can just put the bones back in. <laughs> that's that's immediately how it works, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're a healer, right? Just put them back in. I, I, oh. This, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, Carmina? Honestly, mm -hmm. this might be a little bizarre, but I'd have to go with the... Uh, I would have to steal Pip's, uh, Pip's new Halloween model. Oh uh, yeah, it, it's hollow too out it's Pip. It's too cute, I can't compare. Not on my own, I can't. So, I would just, you know, she's sleeping, just moink it. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. That statement will not bite you back in the future later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, definitely not. <laughs> she's definitely not listening to the stream right now. Anyways, <laughs> I'd like to move into the ad break now as we prep for your segment, Celie. Um, <clears throat> one moment. So usually, um, okay, I don't know what happened to my loading screen. We're just going to stay on guests. I think I moved it. I think that's the issue. I moved it and now it's mad that I moved it. So usually we have like a 10 minute break. If you need to use the restroom or anything, that's fine. We'll just kind of chit chat over here until then. But today I want to thank all of my Twitter followers. I've gotten a lot in the last few weeks and I just want to show them that they're appreciated. Starting with um, Sentif. Thank you very much. They were on an episode with me recently. Grassblock, 
feature, annoying feature, is going to be on a future episode in a few weeks here. Pinkberry VT, Trice Now, Peaceful Night was also on an episode a few weeks ago with Marcy. Witchy Disponia, Sheepish Vampire, Tenko Khan, Kumokawa Shiran, Cantomancer, Arresto Yu, which is VBI, who will be on stream soon, as I can arrange that. <laughs> Leon, Leon TNSC, thank you very much. Um, we've talked funny. Yigi Evergreen, also on a previous episode. Maya VTuber, Elma Schwarz, on the Egisode. Uh, the Magician, Eon, Maddie Dylan Bolo, Kun Neo VT, Kindred Skeleton, Manova Monoceros. Now, Manova, I don't think has debuted yet, but I know them personally because they're um, a very close friend of someone I kissed in a graveyard. So, awesome. Definitely cool. I like hanging out in the same groups as them. I really hope I can get them on an episode here soon. We've been talking about it. Um, Raft of Cupid, who was on the Goblin episode last week. Uh, Torakai, who will be on an episode in the upcoming two weeks. North Salon, Pixelated Owl, Appleseed, also on the Goblin episode last week. Seely, who is with us right now. <laughs> Nikki Lynch, that loser exe one, Eden G Graphics, Sif, who is helping me with a VTuber model for Peaceful Night. Sif actually has a lot of really good advice for how to make night models move. Um, I've never messed with a night model before, so it's been really fun to experience that. Um, Mystic Spell, Smug Snyder, Smug Snyder, Smug, Snug Cider, Revived Snow, Legion, and then a bunch of string of numbers I'm not going to read on chat. I'm not being paid enough. Sumire Hanaka, Han Hanaki VT, Suerto, Chloe, who is going to be on a future episode. We were considering putting Chloe on this episode, but Chloe got busy. Plush King Rusk, Teal Dolls VT, and our Goblin One. Thank you all for following me on Twitter. I'm very active there, and I'm always trying to find new people to follow and track. And I get most of my uh, segment one questions, segment A questions from Twitter. So if you post something to Twitter, I will probably read it on stream if I think it's funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I can make a good joke out of it. So thank you all very much for following me on Twitter. Are you guys still here, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> do you guys use Twitter much? I do. No. <laughs> no? I, I, every, every couple of weeks I remember I have a Twitter and uh, I'll be active and then it just kind of passes me by again. Is that why there was no schedule, nothing including me or mentioning me on your Twitter? I I did do a schedule for a while, but I've had a lot of stuff come up recently uh -huh. and just schedules haven't been working. Uh, I did mention it numerous times in like my Discord server. Oh, that like, sounds people, great. <laughs> yeah, the people that watch me are a lot more active in the Discord server, so posting to, to Twitter always takes like a, a backseat. <laughs> It, it's a source of engagement. Go for it. I say that, but I can actually get most of my engagement through having guests on the show. <laughs> yeah, I, I had like weeks of schedules, Tubba. Come on. Weeks of schedules, huh? Since mm -hmm. I debuted, yeah, and then I kind of you just it. debuted. The new model I, I debuted like two months ago. Like a week real. ago, you just debuted again. Well, <laughs> and then I debuted a new model. You have zero percent of the time had <laughs> a schedule since you re debuted. Oh, since so, since the since the new model, no, no, there's been no schedule. 
<laughs> like an hour before stream. Oh yeah, so like I'm gonna stream. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna stream, but be there. Sounds perfect. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm teasing you, but I haven't had a proper schedule in weeks. <laughs> it, I just kind of link it in my I just kind of link in my Discord and be like, hey, we're doing something this week. Join us. Which everyone, you can join the Discord below. Or follow me on Twitter, and I will probably follow you back if you're a VTuber, or you're funny. Your choice. And, and if you're neither, you're crap out of luck. Yeah, then you go <laughs> to the zero baby jail prison. Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to your segment, Gabby. Oh, that's the Discord link in the description broken again. Please just post the Discord link, Sarah. <laughs> if you follow Carmina, can you expect a debut every week? <laughs> um, every other week. <laughs> Debuting a new vowel that I'm using. Ah. Uh, that would be uh. amazing. I would, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> like small little debut. It's like a party. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds hilarious. But yeah, if you're having any trouble, just ask my mod. My mod will get everything. Everyone give Sarah pets. She works so hard to keep this channel running alongside me. Uh, all of my mods are great. New brain cell debut. Oh. Oh, someone's starting some shit, Carmina. Oh, never. Never. <laughs> you know this first man. There will be no new brain cells. If anything, there will be less. <laughs> Instead of debuting a new one, every week I debut one less brain cell. <laughs> Eventually start holding memorials, James. <laughs> Forget to abuse weekly memorials for every brain cell I've lost. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna start with you. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I had this girl to your segment. Hello everyone, and welcome to The Probe with Fernia Gali. We're an interview comedy podcast. Uh, I am Fernia Gali. When you reintroduce yourself? I am Celie. I am a water spirit who is lucky enough to get enough energy to manifest a physical body. And I'm super derpy. And I like to play games, do just chatting streams, art doodles, and other shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, you say you're, you say you're derpy, but do you remember why I was originally drawn to you? No, because I'm derpy. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of have a terrible memory here, but I was, I actually was, um, sent, sent by Beck. I was looking at different VTubers, because I was like, need to schedule some people, need to schedule some people. I, I, I talked to a bunch of them, but you were one of the ones that actually, like, bowled me over. I was like, oh my god, she just, like invented poetry on stream and oh, read it out right. like on the spot i have hit or misses some of them are, <clears throat> are decent and other ones the chat like lets me pass <laughs> no i mean just that was really impressive like do you do you practice poetry often no not at all so your chats making do your chats torturing you to do this I mean, I, I like doing it. I like to be creative, even if I'm bad at it. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is really fun. Um, but I was, I was just again super impressed um, by everything you have going on. Um, so I contacted you. I realize now I should have just summoned you from the elemental plane instead of taking a plane and kidnapping you. <laughs> I don't know if that would have worked, but. I appreciate the, the magic of uh, the human magic that makes it possible to talk to you. Yeah, so 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 you're you're not from this plane. You're you're like bits of junk from another <laughs> another plane. What how does that work? 
Um, so I, as you know, have a terrible memory. And so a lot of my past is sort of fragmented. I don't, a lot of it I had guests worked by my landlord who helped me a little bit. Um, but uh -huh. as far as I know, I was energy in like the astral plane, which is uh -huh. like between worlds and stuff. Uh -huh. And I must have been drawn to Earth and I just got lucky. I ran into a lot of energy, which lets me take on a physical form. It's It takes a lot of energy to maintain it. So sometimes I just go to water because that's easy, but. Oh yeah, so you just turn into a little slime puddle or like what's the deal there? Yeah, I, I, it's. I can be water of varying consistency. Uh, <laughs> when I rest, I just I just flop it to the tub and just sleep there. I mean, I thought it actually sounds really comfy sleeping inside of like a warm tub of water. It is. I love I love baths, and I love how humans have come up with so many different things for the bath. So it's it's very relaxing. Like uh, rubber duckies. Yes, rubber duckies. Oh, and, I like, love rubber duckies. <laughs> right? And then those like little crayons that you can draw on the walls with that they wash off. <laughs> oh yeah, erasable markers. <laughs> yes. Coming here wasn't her main quest, but she got distracted. I mean, that's possible. Do you remember who you were summoned by? Um, I wasn't summoned. It was just spontaneous manifestation. Oh, so just like the stars aligned. Yeah, something about Earth just made me... I guess decide it was, to be here. It was the bathtubs, wasn't it? it? It probably was. That or the rubber duckies. That or the rubber duckies. Well, I do have to say that like, rubber duckies are a very useful form of transportation when you're being chased by a water spirit. <laughs> that they are. So I, I totally vibe with that. But in, in a tub, do you do cold or warm water? And do you do a bubble bath? Oh, I love bubble baths. Bubble baths, bath oils, like bath bombs. Any, mm -hmm. Anything is really nice. Wait, um, they make they make explosives for baths? Why did nobody ever tell me that? That's what I thought it was at first, too. And I was like, why would I want to blow up myself? And then um, they explained that it's not a real bomb. It's it's false advertising, really. Oh, it's just yeah. like this little ball of stuff that dissolves and changes its colors and makes it smell nice and stuff. Oh, that explains so much about why people screamed when I threw actual bombs at them. Yeah, it, you know, it's really confusing. Humans are really silly. They come up with silly uh, words for lots of stuff. Mm-hmm. I think, I think we've discovered that humans are weird. Yes. <laughs> but we're <laughs> not weird. human. Here, uh, Spira, I'm an alien, probably. So, yes. <laughs> in terms of, like... Being in the astral plane, you don't remember anything, but do you remember what energy sparked you to life? Or is it just big energy? Um, <laughs> well, I think I gathered a little bit here or there, um, and was drawn towards water, because obviously that's sort of my, my alignment. Um, but I think it was my landlord's fault, to be honest, because my landlord's a spirit and they have mega energy. And I did manifest in the middle of their territory. And um, that was an experience. So you're saying your landlord has big mega energy? <laughs> yeah, he's a, they, they're, a, they're, they're a fire spirit, but they consider themselves like a guardian. Like I consider myself a healer. And so um, they don't, they just stay in one spot and sort of guard it. And, and they're just what really strong and terrifying. Okay, so they're strong and terrible. What are... what? Okay, how strong? I should ask this question first. Um, like, if they don't like you and you go into their territory, they could mm -hmm. incinerate you on the spot. Okay. Risk of possible incineration. Like, instantaneous in the body, or they just, like, throw lots of fire at you? Like, instantaneous on the body, because if you're in their territory, it's basically like they're the god of their domain. Oh, that's... Those are so annoying to fight. What are they even yeah. guarding? Do, they're not listening, I hope, but really, I don't think they're guarding anything. Are they just guarding their television set? It's just their land. I mean, we have... It's a lot of... I shouldn't say we. Don't, don't let them hear me say that. But uh, there's a lot of, like, nature and stuff, and it's very peaceful, but, but 
there's nothing like there's nothing there's no shinies there's there's no treasure there's no treasure what the hell right what am i here for other than to gather blackmail material for later <laughs> So, um, so, so he guards nothing but what do you guard? Oh, I'm not a guardian spirit. I, I'm more of like a, a healer. I like to, oh. I like to help people, but obviously I don't, <laughs> I can't do that since I, I'm in this place. So, um, I can't really heal anybody right now. So I just, or the internet, try to spread some cheer and stuff. Although Halloween's coming up, so I'm really excited because mm -hmm. that's when people mm -hmm. come visit me and I can give candy. We could, we could fix that. You could heal Carmina if we just punctuate her. I could try. Carmina is an AI though. I don't know if, if she doesn't have blood. I don't know if I could. I could try. It'd be an experiment. Oh, so, so you'd have like blood bending. Is that well, what we hear? <laughs> I mean, there's... You have control over blood. No, just just water. But so I guess I could take the water out of the blood if, if I wanted to. But then it really wouldn't be blood, I suppose. Well, then you'd just be dehydrating them like a raisin. Uh, that would be mean. That's not healing. I don't want to do that. It's it's healing of a kind. <laughs> it's healing, healing them from the hydration word of their presence. World. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they would really need a hydrate redeem if you pulled out all the water in their bodies. I feel too um, bad. Thank you for the follow, Sylvia. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. You know them? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's cute. But so, so, so you have control over water. Does that include ice? Yeah, I'm. Um, I wouldn't consider myself an ice expert, but pretty much, if it if it's water, I usually can, uh, can control it. So not an ice spur. You're probably suffering during winter. Um, I really, I, I don't mind the cold. Uh, it just takes more energy to keep myself from not, you know, freezing. <laughs> okay, so like, what about gas? Like, like steamy gas, like in a sauna. Could you make a sauna? I could. Actually, in the summer when it gets too hot, I have to be careful. I start to, I start to shrink. Start to evaporate. <laughs> and then yeah. you need more energy to hold yourself together. Pretty much. That's why, that's why I'm happy that I, I live right against water so I could just borrow some water. Your life sounds very inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's okay. I, I mean, it, it, I'm just happy to to exist, really. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, actually, where we are right now, if we just take a few steps this way, we are at the hot springs on my island right now. It's pretty good, right? Hot yes. Yeah. I'm technically not allowed up here, but the dragon that lives here, they said they're out for the day. That they, they're out. They're not gonna show up. Like they're out. They're going shopping. Oh, well, maybe if I stay a little longer, will, will I be able to, to meet the dragon? I mean, probably, but I, if I get caught, she's gonna, like, fling me to the next island over again. Oh, well, we'll just hide you, and then and then I'll give the dragon some jaw scratches and give mm -hmm, him some Chinese, mm -hmm. and we'll smooth it all over. I can fit in a very small space. Do you got, like, a teacup on you? You seem like uh the kind of person to carry teacups. I don't have a teacup, but my but my dress is sort of baggy. I could just like strap you to my thigh. Mm -hmm. Strap me to your thigh. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggle me through the border. Perfect. <laughs> Carmina, join us. The water is fine. <laughs> Yay, Carmina. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's nice and warm. Oh yeah. Yeah, warm water is, well, I, I can't tell temperatures, so, I don't know. You can't, you can't what? 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 You can't tell temperatures? No, or else it'd be too cold for me to, to dive down to the bottom of the ocean. I, uh, no, I mean, you can read it scientifically, can't you? Well, well, I can, like, I can tell you the temperature of the water, but I cannot, like, feel whether it is actually warm or cold for myself. No wonder you're replaced and outdated. Oh, oh, 
Oh. Oh. Okay. So let's talk a little bit more about healing. Because you say you're a healer, right? Yes. What kind of things do you heal? Um, uh, usually, well, the easiest ones are just like, you know, people get little cut or bruises, things like that of the physical nature. But um, okay. mental health is really important too. So I try to help soothe people and um, brighten their days to give them a little bit of the happiness that they that they need. So what would stop me? Like, how could you? What makes you not possible to just replace with a box of band-aids and cat videos? Um, well, not everybody's a cat person, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And also, band-aids don't heal. They just cover little owies so that they don't get in to help reduce the risk of infection and, and Wait, and help. they don't heal? What? No. What is this don't. nonsense? I thought putting a band-aid on it is what made the boo-boo go away. No, I'm, I'm afraid that that's a lie if someone told you that. Oh my god, I've been... No wonder when I put all the bandages on my face, nothing happens. Oh no! <laughs> this is terrible! Well, well, hopefully they're cute band-aids, so at least you... you that's look, true, I look cute. You look extra vibrant. I look cute yeah. in the band-aids. But so you do mental health stuff too. I, I try, yeah. Like, like what? Like, do you mental health cancer away? Like, what's the deal <laughs> here? No, just, um, well, I mean, if it was in person, there'd be more like, like soothing sounds and water therapy and stuff, but oh, since I, since you I stream, ASMR them. Yeah, and over stream, that's my goal. I, I ordered an ASMR mic, because <clears> I'm going to start doing that to try to reach out for Okay. This year. I think I get it. I yeah. think we need to, like, Kim says, why have Celia on the show when you could have just invited a bottle of water? I would be more refreshed. I would definitely I mean, be more refreshed. I mean, if you want to drink me, I could give you some water. I mean, hydrate everybody. <laughs> I will hydrate. I just hydrated by drinking the water that we're in right now. That's a good trade-off. <laughs> It did taste a little like body water. I have a oh. question for Carmina if I can ask it. Uh, oh, well, when you ask, well, yeah, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering, Carmina, like, do you, since you're an AI, do you, do you drink water and eat food and like process it? Or where do you, how do you get your energy? Um, yeah, Killing basically, I mean, I, I can. It's not the main source of energy, but it's more for like, if I'm lost, dire situations, I can convert whatever, I can convert pretty much anything that goes into my mouth, so sand, fish, rocks, and I can just uh, break it down and use the molecules for energy. That makes sense. I tried sand once. I don't like it. It's not very good. No. Okay. So, my next question is still related to you being a healer. Do you, okay. Are you even qualified to be doing that? I don't think humans have a qualification for water spirits. They do, so. actually, they do. They have lots of qualifications. There's a lot of licenses that you have to fill out to be a registered psychologist or a doctor. But that's for humans. I'm not a human. Well, yeah, and but I'm you're not, living on I'm Earth, not a, right? And I never, I don't claim to be a doctor or a psychologist or psychiatrist or a therapist. I, I'm just a water spirit. That wants ah, to help. you're just a hack. I get it. I mean, if it works, is it a hack? Huh. Sure. That is actually a fairly good argument. So you're just an alternative medicine. Uh, you realize that that means you have to preface all of your healings. You have to say like, 
This medicine is not recognized by the country of the world that you're in. But I don't use medicine, I use myself. <clears throat> Does that have to say that I'm not recognized by anything? Yes, you have to say you're not recognized by any medical board. Oh no, does that mean that I don't exist if nobody recognizes me? Another good philosophical question that we're not answering on today's stream. <laughs> I have to go reevaluate my life. It was very short, it's only been two years, but I'm gonna go reevaluate it. <laughs> okay, so, so like, are you just gonna live for an eternity? Um, I, th I think so. I'm like, I have energy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not recognized as being appealing. <laughs> um, another person says being a healer requires 20 years of education or substitute experience under a licensed practitioner. That sounds like a human problem. That sounds like a human problem. So you don't follow any human laws, really. I mean, it helps that I don't go anywhere, so I don't really have opportunities to break them. <laughs> You're a shut-in. I get it. Yeah. A forced shut-in. A forced shut-in? But isn't your house, like, super hot because it has the fire spirit in it? Um, yeah, but it, it helps that it's it's pretty hot here most of the time. But it's probably his fault now that I think about it. Yeah, the I should get a rent does, discount. It does sound like... Wait, you're paying rent? Yeah, that was our agreement that I, I have to pay rent. I thought you just meant he was lord of the land, like he ruled over you. I mean, he is the landlord and it is all their land, but but I still have to pay rent. Okay. So you're not subject to human laws, but you are subject to elemental laws. Yes, and I don't want to get incinerated. What's an elemental law? Um, contracts are really important. Okay. <clears throat> Pulls out a sheet of paper. Contracts are really important. Oh no. So if I was to scribble, 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 if I was to write something out as the kind of contract, you'd have to respect it, right? If I agreed to the contract, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm scared. Please okay. put the paper away. I'm not putting the paper away. This is the perfect opportunity to contract with a water spirit. Oh no. <laughs> I don't oh do well with peer pressure. Okay, I think I got it. You will give me one fla fla, and I will give you one nya. Just like say fla fla? Yeah, you just have to say fla fla. But that one didn't count because you didn't sign it. Pushes okay. over the sheet of paper. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna read. Make sure there's no fine print. I've told that humans like fine print and aliens. Oh, might oh. Be. If, uh, let me let me uh, scratch off this line about your soul. Okay. Oh, oh, we're we're uh, good. We're good. No, 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 no. There's no more. There's no more fine print. See? What? What's this smudge though? What's this uh, smudge I see? Okay, I'll have to cross out that one too. Oh, okay. Um, I I, I guess I can sign. Only only the mm -hmm. verbal verbal. I I should I should I should probably mention that like the signature line it's reusable. What? <laughs> this isn't a good contract. <laughs> Where's my landlord? I need an incineration. <laughs> what what's your landlord gonna do? Absolutely nothing because they don't care. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. How much do you have to pay every month? Um, it depends on the month. Okay, that's actually really confusing and annoying. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I usually never pay the rent the way they want to, so they make a bunch of exceptions. But I try my best. It's hard to make money when you can't go anywhere. I mean, you just pay in acorns and leave. That's I basically did. money. Yeah, last month I asked if, if they would take fish, and they didn't want to, but they did. So I gave them a bunch of fish. And then your whole house smelled like fish the whole time. Carmina's paradise, your paradise, Celie. Uh, can I come over? Like, yeah! I would love to come over. You can have all the fish that you want. 
Ironically, you two actually have really compatible schedules. That's, well, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's just like when you're trying to link the, the Twitch link, we are connected. <laughs> It's the ocean. Oh my god. That's true. That's so true. Okay. I got more questions up my sleeve. So let's talk about your external heart, your anchor. Okay. What's that thing around your neck? That necklace thing? That thing that looks like a necklace? It's a vial of water. So like it when you when you run out of water it like drops on you and smashes and you're alive like a discworld vampire is, is that <laughs> what happens? No, it's just sentimental. When I first manifested, it was a little bit of water um right where I manifested, so I, I put it <clears> in <throat> it mm -hmm. to just remember by since I have such bad memory. So it's gamer girl bath water and a necklace. Um yeah sure. I mean I I don't think there's any other way to put this. <laughs> I mean, I manifested by, by a stream, but you oh, know, you're right. a stream is like a big moving bathtub. You're right. Know, so. Gamer girl birth water. That makes me uncomfortable, <laughs> <I> yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, less for myself and more that I just worry my chat will take all of this and haunt me with it. They're definitely going to. I'm going to make sure you don't forget that either. <laughs> oh oh no. my god, they're already saying stuff. What do you do with the placenta? <laughs> I've heard in some cultures they eat it. I know animals tend to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I said. Some cultures they eat it. I kind of wonder if it's like delicious or disgusting. No idea. <laughs> because there are lots of things that like you think are gross and then they turn out to be really good. I I think I remember watching that they said that it's like really high in like protein or some nourishment, so it's really good for, for the mom to get energy back. <clears throat> but I, I could have also made that up in my head, so I don't know. Well I mean you do have terrible memory. I do, I really do. I'm guessing you just watch TV to learn everything since you didn't go to any kind of schooling and you are a quack doctor. I never claimed to be a doctor. I gotta remind everybody. I never claimed that. Just a healer. Yeah, which is a doctor. That's synonymous. Is it? Is it though? It's synonymous. A cinnamon? Cinnamon. Cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll is. Ooh, tasty. It is tasty. Oh but gosh. Yes. Now I want yeah. some. Right? Sorry. I think of food a lot. I get energy from food. <laughs> Not a lot, but a little. It's sort of like Carmina. No, no. Sylvie Ray, it's Gamer Girl Birth Water. Not Gamer Girl Birth Bath Water. Get it right. If you're gonna oh mock. God, better, better. We, we could just get rid of the birth part too altogether. <laughs> Gamer Girl Water. Oh, that is a good question. So you are a girl, right? But like, you're an yeah, elemental, right? So that's a thing that could change in the future. I don't think it will. So when yeah. I manifested, and a lot of this is guesswork, but when I manifested, um, I, uh, I just. This is the form I took, and I feel oh. really comfortable in it. So I, oh, I think it just good. sort of resonated with how I feel. It's just like how my landlord is um, he, them, because they they um, sort of consider themselves male, but they also are asexual, so they don't really care um, about other genders and stuff like that. And I do. So we're, we're all different. Just like I, guess, I guess that's true. If you're asexual, you can just forget about the whole thing. It's not important. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's how the asexual way works. You know, I mean, when I was younger. Okay. Let's see. What's next on my questions list? I have a lot of questions. Oh no. <laughs> so so I know you lose energy by being in uncomfortable environments, and you gain energy by eating, right? And stuff like that, eating and drinking. I don't. 
It, I'm sort of similar to Carmina. I don't get a ton of energy from food, but I can get a tiny bit. The easiest way for me is just to absorb water and just to rest and not be in my physical form. I get energy back. I sort of recharge like a battery. Sorry, I need to turn on to instrumental and move to the next track. <laughs> okay, so, 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 so if I were to trap you in a jar, then, would you be losing any energy? Um, if I'm water? Uh, yes, but very, very, very gradually. Okay. What if it was, like, sealed shot? Like, there was no atomic way to get it, out of there? It'd be the same. I would just lose really, 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 really gradually. Oh, from, like, your consciousness running that? Yeah. I need energy just to maintain myself. If I stuck a straw in the jar, would you be delicious? I would be, I would be like the best tasting water you've ever had. Oh. Do you give out free samples? <laughs> yeah, I, I can, I can give out free samples, although it's really weird and it, it tickles, but I, I could. Play it. Might have to take you up. <laughs> okay, 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 new idea, new idea. If you drink soda syrup and, and carbonation, right? Like we stick like a, a carbonation in your mouth, will you turn into a soda elemental? <laughs> no, unfortunately I purify things so they go down, go to water basically. Yeah, purify stuff. Yeah, it, it sort of sucks with, with like alcohol. Like I can get drunk if I really focus on it and like go, don't purify, don't purify. But it's it's annoying. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to maintain very long the soda version. Yeah, it would be it'd be briefly. I do like bubbles. Bubbles in your body would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> it, would, it would be very funny. I'd just be like bloop, 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 all over. <laughs> <clears throat> so what about your external heart? Let's talk about that a little bit more. I think I got sidetracked because I was more interested in calling it Gamer Girl Birthwater than I was in learning about it. <laughs> That's okay. Distractions. I get distracted all the time, so I will not judge. Like ADD kind of distraction just going on everywhere. Let's just put it this way. Um, in the current video game that I played last time, I have a specific redeem that Chad can do <clears throat> that forces me to maintain focus on quests and not get distracted by everything else. Oh my gosh. You really do need the help. <laughs> <laughs> I like shinies. Anything that's shiny, I'm just, woo. It's like, what if I want all of the gold, everybody? Right? And then you just get murked by that high <laughs> difficulty ceiling. <laughs> Probably. So, so your heart, um, can I hold it? No. What if I go there? Can I hold it? It's hidden and I won't tell you where it is. What if I use a shovel? Can I hold it? Please don't try to find it. It's very uncomfortable. I want to bite it. No, don't bite it. <laughs> is it like a giant candy? No, it, it's an object and it, it, it's sort of sturdy-ish, but that's all I'm telling. I'm telling you, no more clues, no more hints. Can I taste that? You could lick it, but I don't think it would taste like it. Mmm, licking up. Oh no, don't lick it. That would be even more uncomfortable though. <laughs> Bye, RelaxTuba. Thank you so much for joining us in the stream. Thank you, RelaxTuba. Well, she said it was an anchor earlier, so it could be anywhere on my ocean, actually. This is really unfortunate. <laughs> well, I, I call it my anchor, but it's not like a human ship anchor. It's just like an anchor as in like it keeps me uh, weighted, tied to one place, like a boat's anchor does. Okay, so like but it's tasty. I don't know, it's probably not tasty. It's, it's, it's so. Like, can we, can we move on to a different question? Not, not, not talk about the anchor? We could, but I'm always going to wonder it. <laughs> Wondering is fine, that, that's fine. So, so I know just that you don't manifest physically very often, right? Um, yeah, I, I just do it when um, I wanna, <clears throat> you know, eat 
try human things, stream, you know, things like that. So, so like, could you use that to get inside of buildings without people noticing? I could. Pretty easily. Homes are so are so easily broken into, I think. At least the one I'm in. Well, so you have gaps. clearly broken into some homes before. You have some experience. No, there's no homes in my reach of me, but I have broken into my own home. <laughs> oh, everyone breaks into their own home at some point. Right. You want to tell that story, though? Um, so I... <laughs> We have a security system. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but um, and I went outside to try to mm, get close to the lizards, and I forgot that um, that I already locked all of the doors, and the front door automatically locked. And so I went around back and was playing for a long time. And then when I tried to get back in, I I couldn't, and I was too afraid to try to open the window because the oh, alarms no. would go off. Oh no! So I eventually um. Uh, went into water form which was really uncomfortable because it was really hot and the pavement is really hot and I snuck under um, the, the garage door and managed to get in through there because there's this one little um, like the seal between the door and the wall I don't know what it's called was ripped because of the cat and so I could get in through the little crack you squeezed in like a kitty oh my gosh I did thanks to thanks to my kitty friend <clears throat> what if you could turn into a water kitty? I would love it. I'm so jealous because my landlord can turn into like a bunch of different foxes and I'm very jealous by it because I would love to be able to be a cute water animal. Okay, so when are you going to do that? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start working on it. Cue a training montage. <laughs> <laughs> the rocky mu music plays in the background. Yeah. You're like hitting a sandbag. <laughs> You're visualizing yourself as the animal. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask somebody to make like a, a cat shaped jar and then I'll go water and just fill the jar. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so like, you keep calling your landlord your landlord. Do they have a name? They do, but I probably shouldn't say it because I didn't tell them about this and they would get really mad at me. I also have a landlord redeemed from my stream that I never told them about and I think they would get mad at me. So just, <laughs> just, just between us, okay? I'm I'm already dialing your landlord's number. No, don't tell them. <laughs> okay, I guess I won't tell them if you say foie foie. I am so pleased right now. Blackmailing is the best thing. <laughs> so besides breaking and entering, have you done any other human crimes? Um Is is public nudity a crime? It is. It okay, is then I've done that. Absolutely a crime. Every single day. <laughs> You're nude right now? No, not right now, but in the early mornings, I don't, I mean, this is our territory and I, I like clothes because they're pretty, but I don't understand why humans like feel like they always have to be in clothes. Like if it's a yeah. hundred degrees out, why does anybody want to be in clothes? I don't understand. I just like being in my suit because it's temperature regulated. Yeah. Like when it gets cold, I understand because it's, they're, the cold clothes are very comfy, but summer clothes, I just tried to order some and they are like, a lot of them are very uncomfortable. Like huh. there's this thing called a bakuni, a bakuni. I, I don't get why they wear those. A bakuni? Oh, you yeah. mean a bikani. A bikani, is that what they're called? Yeah, they're, they're so They're called bikanis, yes. I mean, they just seem a little like, Slim, I'm getting on a bra is hard enough. Yeah, that's another thing I don't understand are bras. Like, I, I, I put it on because my landlord <clears throat> said that humans are weird and they get uncomfortable if you don't, but it still, it doesn't make sense to me. No, it's just because like, I stopped getting bras and what I started getting was like these like shirts that are like undershirts, but they have like the, the 
you have a tiny bit of padding so it doesn't look like your nipples are out. Ah, uh -huh, I should take notes. I'm gonna take notes. They're they're kind of interesting. I don't actually know what these are called. I want to say camisole, but I, that's not right. It's because okay. After that's this, we can... camel feet. <laughs> After this, we'll just we'll just like we can pull the humans. Humans, what <laughs> what are these comfortable comfortable shirts called? Yeah, because they're so good. I just got like twelve of them, and I just keep switching through them, and I'm like. I don't have to wear a bra. This is great. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, human garb is um, is socks. I really like like cute socks. That have oh yeah. Pictures on them. Absolutely, cute socks with pictures. I got one with yeah. penguins on it. Oh, I'm wearing ones with pumpkins, pumpkins oh and cats. Oh my gosh, that's so spooky. Yes. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so like, what other kinds of socks you got? Um, I have, uh, one that has a, chat, calm down. I have one that has a dragon, <laughs> dragons on them. Um, I have, uh, some that have like game designs, like little gaming controllers, and they say like player one and player two. I have another one mm -hmm. that doesn't say that. I have a little fox one. Um, I have actually three. Oh. The I player one, lights. player two sounds cute, but also the Christmas lights sound cute. Yes, I love holidays. Holidays are fun because mm -hmm. humans go out and travel, and and any anything that I can get for them to come to get close, so I can so I can wave and say hi. Is it is it too early to start advocating for Christmas? I feel like I'd upset Jackie slash Sarah if I started doing that. I think I think you should be able to after Halloween. I, I I heard from a human friend when I wanted to put Christmas lights up in February that they said that you can't until after Thanksgiving and that's just way too like no, we need months of Christmas lights. Absolutely, months of Christmas lights, but like also fairy lights are a thing. That's true. I don't have those. I should get some. Yeah, dragon. Silly with dragons. What do you think? Dragons. I just like dragons and the chat takes it to an extreme measure that I will I don't it's not it's not like that. Well it's not like that, huh? No, no, I just I just like them. So what if I what if I introduced you to some cute dragons? Can 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 I can I give them jaw scratches and hugs? You can give them all the jaw scratches and hugs you want. One just went back to VTubing again. I'll sign up. I'll sign up <laughs> every single one. The dragon petting stream. I can see this now. Just line up 40 dragons and pet them all on the oh nose. Yes, like behind on the hinge of their jaw. They, I, they like little scratches there usually or by their ridges on their spine. Oh, and then you give them shinies because I find shinies sometimes mm -hmm. in the stream mm -hmm. or the ocean. And, oh. Sorry, I got carried away. Like, what about... Okay, so, so there's lots of different kinds of dragons. Like, we agree with that, right? I like all of them. You like all of them? Uh, Chinese dragons? Definitely. But what about... Uh, they're not dragons, but they sort of are a Yes, I actually think that's sort of, um, I must have met one at some point, I think, because my, my, um, a lot of my features sort of match those. Yeah, I actually thought you were a Quillen when I first looked at, looked at you. Yeah, I think I, I, again, bad memory, but I think maybe, it, maybe I, like, when I was still Essence, maybe I, like, touched one or it was a round one because they're also known to be like peacekeepers and healers so it would fit maybe you licked one no no i didn't <laughs> lick them no <laughs> you licked them and absorbed their powers like you're kirby or something no i didn't lick them <laughs> lick the dragon no i mean if jake had asked me to i totally would but no that's not my instinct you wouldn't lick a dragon's chest if they wanted me to, I would pretty much probably do anything for a dragon. They're so neat. I like them so much. They're so they're so awesome. I'm... 
My dragon <laughs> tail. My dragon like tail is my favorite part because it's like I pretend. Yeah, I haven't I haven't added your dragon tail back. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it existed. No, it, it's okay. That's why I'm getting my model because otherwise it, I just hide it in my dress sometimes. Because uh. you know I'm trying to blend into humans. <clears throat> So, what's... Oh. Oh. Ah. Someone stabbed me. Oh no. Oh, no. This is terrible. Hermina. Hermina, did you stab her? Mm, you know, you know. Uh, ah. Ah. Uh, right, guys? Ah. Uh, I'm bleeding. What, what am I gonna do here? Oh, that's not a really big stab wound. You'll be fine. You can walk. Oh, I'm leaking pink everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna seal it up. Um... Wait, 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 you're a healer, right? Yeah, but I don't want to waste my energy on a tiny little booty <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm bleeding out my side. It's all leaking. The pink's leaking out. Uh, I mean, do you have any bandages? We could just wrap it. Why would I have bandages? Look at I, me, I'm metal. I don't know, you just seem like the type of, of AI that would be ready, ready for anything. Can't you just oh, smile on my wounds <laughs> shut or something? Here, here, I'll give you a hug. Come over here, I'll give you a hug. Okay. It'll be there, it'll be okay. okay. There, there, it's all right. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, look, my stab wound's fine. There, see, there you go, good job. <laughs> I'm so good, do I get a lollipop? Yes, I'll mail you a lollipop. I didn't bring one with me though. By the way, you have really soft fur. Oh, thank you very much. I built it myself. It's beautiful. So, why did you become a VTuber? Um, because it. Uh, I wanted to make friends since I can't make any where I am. <laughs> so I can't go anywhere and um, I really like having fun and I love games games are so creative and so it just gives me an outlet to um, introduce myself in a gradual way so humans aren't you know spooked or anything and I get to make a lot of friends and have fun it's it's my favorite it's true I have made so many friends since I started being a VTuber yeah even it's though... fun meeting other VTubers and then just people who like to watch VTubers and mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. sharing the same um, joy over games or strange books and things like that. Strange books, you say? I'm an avid reader. Well, look, then maybe you would like my some of the just chatting. Um, I will have I to. I will have to hop into your just chatting. I read a few chapters of books every week. Oh, that's really awesome. Yeah, one of the things that I've done that I was surprised that people liked them as an experiment was, um, you know how some romance novels, even the good romance novels, um, their summaries are sort of over the top and really silly. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of the things I do is um, with chat is we Google and look up romance books and we just dramatically read the summaries and oh it gets my God. pretty crazy. That sounds so fun. Let me in on one of those streams sometime. I want to see it. I will, I will let you know. Okay, last thing before we move on to closing. I asked both of you if you would prepare a question for me. So what is your question, Sealy? My question is, if you were stranded on a desert island. Motherfucker. <laughs> and you could only eat one food for the entire duration of the desert island or you would die if you tried to eat anything else what would it be man no that was my answer like did you think i was just like valley girling it up <laughs> you would eat only like man like human or like, like man human. like male man <laughs> But you know, actually, if I just said male or female, I could eat everything, right? Except for the girl ones. Yeah. That would that would be like half of all of the food. I'd be so good at eating fish. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a great deal. See, I was very generous. I didn't even try to be generous, and here we are. Well, you didn't try to be generous, but you realize that I'm on a deserted island right now. Is it really deserted if we're here with you? 
No, no, it's feeling a lot less deserted now that you've joined me. That's good. I'll get you some male fish after this. I'll just have all the fish. Okay. <laughs> So, um, is there anything you want to link to your chat or advertise before we move on to the second ad break? Um, uh, not really. I will just say that I'm really, really excited that I'm going to have a debut um, in November or December. Ooh, it depends I'm so excited. When... Yeah, it depends when my mom and dad finish. I don't want to rush them, so that's why I'm not going to like specify. But um, I'm really excited about that. So, I don't have a date, but just keep an eye out for it. That's it. Oh, well, I'm excited about that too. I'm going to link collab and chat. So all of you can check out Celie at her own channel. Oh, it's so exciting to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Do you want to leave? Well, not really leave. You're just sticking around. But do you want to end in a poem? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll hang around. I'll... I'll... I'll just shift into water form for a little bit and swim around while I'll mm -hmm. like eavesdrop. Poetry's off the table. I got to You want to relax. <laughs> <laughs> this, is nice, this is a nice, this is a nice sauna. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, if you, I'll chime in whenever you want me to. Mm -hmm. Do that ooh woo poem again. What's that? There's no, oh, the ooh woo. <laughs> I don't remember the poem. I didn't. <laughs> I, I, you did I it on your own without even knowing. Well, I did it, but I didn't like write it down, so I don't remember it. It was something like, uh, like FJ would like me to do the ooh woo, and I really don't know what to do. Ooh, like that. <laughs> okay, chat, are you satisfied? You better be. My loading screen, my animated loading screen is still broken, but I'm gonna move into the odd break. Okay, one thing that is very important to me is I'd like to talk to everybody about the pet project I've been working on for the last few months, Gallyworks. It's not a group and it isn't a company either. Gallyworks will be an ad-free alternative streaming platform for scripted content like this, hosting auditions and talent pools and offering resources for VTubers. Um, we'll be supported entirely by community donations and it'll be free for everyone to use. I don't believe in overhead and scraping off the top and money, only content. Um, we're going to be opening in a few months. Development will take time. Um, we're estimating six months before the beta program's properly online. But right now, we're looking for 10 beta hosts to run test programs um, until the platform is stable and we've worked out all the kinks. And then we'll gradually open up to more hosts. So the three hosts we have so far are Nyaz Truly from Yagali. Um, I'm working on game shows and interview content. Hip Owl is making a show about talking to indigenous peoples and learning about the strange and unique monsters that few know about. Um, Peaceful Night is going to be exploring monsters through history and their appearances in pop culture and media. Um, this means we're still looking for seven more shows. Um, either pitch it from a single VTuber or a VTuber team. Um, and in addition to hosting scripted and streamed content, we will also be hosting auditions, not for us, but for other people. Every registered VTuber using the platform will be able to upload and update one video and fill out their personal information. Uh, groups and companies will be able to look through the hundreds of available audition files to reach out to VTubers directly and invite them to join or to ask them to participate in a more narrow audition. Um, VTuber groups will also be provided the tools they need to publicize their auditions. Uh, last but not least, VTubers will be given additional tools to interact with and schedule collaborations with other VTubers. Um, hopefully a big help for networking with others, finding new friends. So if you're interested in being a beta host and you have a program to pitch or you want to register for the audition program and upload your files to Galleyworks or 
you just want to help the project along and provide help to the VTuber community, um, contact me through the Discord in the links below. Thank you for listening. So, let me get back to the guest screen. <clears throat> you guys both still here? Yep. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, speaking of, uh, Pip is actually one of the people, you actually know them, Carmina. Yes, I'm actually, uh, well, I'd like to consider us, uh, pretty good friends. Pretty good friends, huh? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. What are you insinuating here? You're in trouble. You're no? in big trouble, and we'll get to that later. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to your portion, Carmina. Um, okay. Again, thank you so much for joining us, Celie. Uh, just stick around. Thank you. <clears throat> so. Um, hello, welcome to The Probe with Fernia Gali. I'm Fernia Gali, and this is Carmina Tempez. Why don't you introduce yourself? Um, once again, my name is Carmina Tempez. Um, usually I'm just called Carmina or Mina. Um, I'm a sort of friendly <laughs> fish AI. I spend a lot of my time at the bottom of the ocean. Um, some may consider me a fish god. <laughs> and, uh, Who? That's, that's Who I'm considers saying. you a fish god? We're gonna stop Basically. you right here. <laughs> Basically, um, pretty much a, a lot of, um, my regulars at my streams mm -hmm. consider me fish god. I, half the time they forget I'm a robot. But we just we just go with it. Half the time they forget. Are you not encouraging them by saying this kind of stuff? I mean, if they want to consider me a god, am I really gonna question it? I mean, no. It's it's a really convenient way to get food and money and stuff. Exactly. I I just sit there and uh, and you and just collect oh, chops. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so I guess if you're a robot, right, what do you do? Like, basically, like, uh, what, what is, like, my, my job as being What is your purpose? What is your function? My purpose is that I basically get sent out on missions from the company that owns me. Um, Thank you for the follow. To... <laughs> Company that owns you? Yeah, uh, well, it's not really a company. The private lab that created me and owns me, they mm -hmm. will send me out on different missions to things like the Marianas Trench. I've gone to the Arctic before, and basically I go deep down where it's too hard for them to go, and I just scan around, tell them what's down there, um, try and find new sea animals, mm -hmm. new trenches we may not know about, things like that, and that's basically my purpose as an AI. The Marinara Trench sounds delicious. I, it's really good with matzo sticks. Yeah, really good with matzo sticks, and I mean, like, there's already jellyfish in the water if you want to get lunch, too, make a sandwich. Oh yeah, basically anything in the water is like my salad, it's just, it's all available to me. The rocks, the sand, the dirt, the seaweed. I'm, I'm not, no, not seaweed. Anything but seaweed. You don't like the seaweed? Why not? We have, have a petrifying fear of seaweed. Seaweed is high in nutrients. It's scary looking. I don't care if it's high in nutrients. Maybe guess, if it looked different, I would consume it, but... I guess it does hide no. sharks in it. Oh, the sharks I've got no problem with. I really love sharks. I... I love everything in the ocean except seaweed. You I love know, to eat sharks? Personally, I'm not a very big shark fan, like nutrient and food wise. They're very hard to catch, they're very fast. And uh, I have gotten into a couple scruffles with sharks before, 
and I did cost a lot of money and damages to me and got scolded mm. very hard. <laughs> so I I've kind of stopped going around them and messing with them. <laughs> well, I guess that's fair. Again, thank you for following your boy, Popper. But, but okay, seaweed's very high in nutrients. You could just eat it all up. What's in there can hurt you. It's, it's not what's in there, it's how it looks. I am very... Right if seaweed, here. if I'm swimming through it and it touches me, I will cry. I will start crying. The seaweed wriggles in your ears. Just anything. Oh god, even thinking about it is just... It, it freaks me out. I can't do seaweed for the there, life of me. Are there any other scary things out there in the ocean deep? There actually is. Um... Gosh, what is the name of them? So it was actually this, this new kind of squid I discovered that gave me a heart attack and a half. Basically, I was really deep down in the ocean. I can't exactly remember where. And I turned around and there were these squids that had these extremely long tentacles. Like they went for meters and meters. Meters and meters. They just, I, I. I swam off. I, I resurfaced and I didn't go into the ocean for about a week and a half solid. I oh, refused gosh. to go in. So, um, I, I only ask because I have undiscovered creatures off my island. I was hoping to identify a few, but I mean, if, I, if you're an expert, then you're an expert. Oh, I, right? I would like to consider myself an expert. Okay, so, it's there's one in particular. I, I sent a few of my critties kind of out to see if I could personally get off the island. You know, the island chain. And you can make it pretty far before the water gets really deep, like a trench around the place, I think. That's what it's called, right? Deep water? Yeah, yeah. And there's this long thing, like... I don't know, estimates would put it at maybe a few miles long oh, and I, know it, I know exactly what you're talking about it's kind of scaly and it's got sharp teeth it's bad for me <laughs> okay so basically what you have encountered is a a whippersnapper a whippersnapper <laughs> What is a whippersnapper? You know, it's a... It's a long thing. And, and it, it whips and it snaps. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no! <laughs> that is such a terrible joke! Why are you poisoning my program like that? <laughs> I... I... I poison everything that I go on to. I, I'm oh, gonna be honest good. Here. Like Oh <laughs> good. I also dump toxins wherever. I keep getting in trouble. Apparently you're not allowed to dump toxins in the river. I huh. You know, I really don't understand why. Are they okay. just that, like territorial over it? Or well, I I don't know. We could ask Celie. Celie. Yeah. Why can't I dump my toxins in the river? It's perfect for dumping toxins in. Because you'll murder all the poor living creatures that don't deserve your evil toxins to invade their home. What if I already do that? Yeah, what if we already murder all the, the cute and adorable creatures? So you're gonna murder them all and then dump the toxins? Both at the same time? Uh, yeah, yeah, both at the same time. I think dumping the toxins is the murdering. I think... No, because if you do the toxins and the I'm murdering, the it. murdering is even more widespread because then the other creatures that eat the things that you've invaded the toxins with would mm -hmm. also get sick and die. So it's better mm -hmm. just to murder everything in the vicinity of the toxins and then dump the toxins because then it won't spread any farther. I guess that's true. So it's okay if we murder you because you're in the vicinity of the toxins? Oh, that's silly. You can't murder me. I would just purify it. Oh, god oh, damn it. That's true. That is like... Wait a minute. Why don't you two just work together? One of you purifies the other's exhaust fumes. I don't think I... I, I don't think I give off exhaust fumes. 
<laughs> what? You did, you've never started a fire underwater? Shut up. I, I, I can't say I have. I, I, you're right. I should just get better. What the hell do you exhaust? I, Water? I don't exhaust is the thing. What do you do? What? I just, I couldn't tell you. I'm not the scientist that made me. I'm simply not that smart. You, um, there's two scientists who made you, right? Yes, that's correct. Is there belligerent sexual tension between them? <laughs> Between them or between like me and them? Both? <laughs> between me and them? I would hope not because I, I consider them my parents. No, um, just being your mama. Being your daddy. If there was, your was daddy. sexual tension between me and my, me and my uh, mom and dad, I would I'd be a little concerned. <laughs> between them? Uh, I wouldn't know, and I, I'd hope I would never know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever wants to know what their parents are up to in the bedroom. <laughs> just, just the thought of it. Oh, gosh. It's like old people sex. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds so... T oh, gosh, that sounds so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I could say whatever. You gave me this power and permission. <laughs> That's true, I did, but when I hit the box I wasn't exactly um, expecting old people sex. That's not <laughs> typically what came to mind. What's wrong with old people fucking? There's... There's nothing wrong with it. Skin but flopping it... everywhere. <laughs> oh. oh god! <laughs> oh. All right, immediately it became not okay. It's the red ban on it. Oh, God. Oh, I really... That's not an image I needed in my head today. But so you don't think... You don't think your parents are making out? Oh, no, they definitely are. Oh, they definitely but... are. You just don't know if there's belligerent sexual te tension oh, going on. There may be. There may be, yes, possibly, but I, I'm not there long enough to know, so I, I would I would hopefully, uh, I haven't actually seen them in a while. I'm mm, cause, you got, Cause you got handed off to your manager, right? Researcher code? Yeah. Yeah, I got handed off to my manager and then sent on missions, so. Like, missions to murder? <laughs> um, well, that's that's half the time that's what ends up happening, but mm -hmm. typically they're missions to, to go find things like new uh, new species and whatnot. Half the time I just eat everything I find, but you know. Th that a... <laughs> sounds like it makes it difficult to report that you found a new species. I found a new species. It was delicious. Here, check my stomach. It's in there. I promise. It's it's already been churned up, but I got the bones, caught them out like a cat. <laughs> I I try not to eat the new things I find, uh, but everything around it gets extincted. Yes. So so you are just. A weapon of mass destruction for the ocean. Oh yeah. Oh, it was a mistake putting me in there. I mean, I think, I think there might be a reason why you were replaced. I don't know what you're talking about. I simply don't understand. So I think I did everything right. Researcher Kuhn was your manager. Was. Yes. Is. Yes. Was. Uh, was. Was. How many years? Oh gosh, how old am I? Um, he probably would have been my manager for about four to three years. Four and a half, or three and a half to four years. You lasted less than the lifespan of an iPhone? I, I'm gonna be honest with you here, I'm five years old. So for, in terms of AI, I lasted a while. In terms of AI, you lasted a while, I guess. How many generations of you were made before they just, like, terminated the whole Carmina project? <laughs> um, tip, well, there was only me. I was the- Oh, I really? Was the solo generation. There solo generation. Other, there are other models like me that, so, mm -hmm. for example, I'm the deep sea model, so I go to very deep parts of the ocean where it's dark and it's cold and it's no fun. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but there are also other model types and prototypes that will go to things like, like tropical rivers um, or reefs and whatnot. Always not... in water? Yeah, we are a, okay. a water-based company. A water-based company as opposed to a carbon-based company. <laughs> How do you even entertain yourself when you're down there in the deep like that? Oh, uh, yeah. I basically I'm like, oh, there goes another piece of plankton. There's another. There's a there's an air bubble. <laughs> and uh, that that was going on for days at a time. Just 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 one. Oh oh look, there's a shiny thing. E oh um out of things to do. <laughs> yeah, I it it's truly one of the most uh, entertaining things. Really, lots of fun to be down there. I I totally love my job. You sound like you do not love it at all. <laughs> it's it's fun when I when I find things, but as much as I'd like to say that's almost every mission, it's it's hardly ever. There aren't a lot of new things to discover. How many air bubbles do you see on a given deep sea mission? Mm, it honestly it depends if I'm near any like underwater geysers. Mm -hmm. If there are, then then more than I can count. Anyone, anyone from uh, if you ask Reki specifically, Reki, he'll say I can't count Rocky. anything. Yeah, he'll say I can't count anything beyond what's on my fingers. Um, what's one plus ten? That is a fifteen. It's eleven. Dang. You're that... a freaking robot. <laughs> I was designed for for like looking at things in the ocean. I wasn't designed uh, yes. to do math. Yeah. Is he a replacement designed to do math? Maybe. <laughs> so which model replaced you? Um, it's 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 got a really odd title, but it is from the Series X line. So actually the mm -hmm. model that replaced me is X036. There X isn't a. Yeah, there isn't an actual name for her yet. Nor will I give her one because she doesn't deserve the time and place. But, you know. <laughs> I I'm surprised you knew what the number was because according to Reki, anything past the double digits is rough for you. I. If it's in a name, I got it. But, like, no, I can count. Okay, so I can. I can sort of count. Count, no. count up to ten. It depends. Okay, there's like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven, nine, ten. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you have a grudge against this other model? Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna full out, full out grudge, yes. So you encountered them in the open ocean. It'd be, it'd simply be game over. Blood bath? She you know, she just, well, we don't have blood, but there would be circuits everywhere, yes. And, and you'd be devouring them? Is that what's gonna go on here? Oh yeah, maybe not devouring, but just like, just blunt force trauma. But they're the better model. Says who? All right, so says, they, they may says, have better says tech. Says the people who fired you. So she may have better tech, all right? But I'm- I think I'd like to say I'm smarter. You're smarter? So she oh, yeah. can't even count up to nine? Oh no, she can count up to like a trillion, but you know. Okay, so she must not have as many degrees as you. Degrees? Like, there are certificates that humans hand out to show that you have some certification in the field that you're talking about. I I don't have any degrees. I was all I all I know is I was one day just came into this world and they tossed me in an ocean said have fun, tell us what you find. Okay. I could So I she could... must have worse vision than you. Oh no, she's she's better in literally every way, but my but you're won't. smarter. My pride won't let me say otherwise. Oh, your pride circuit, of course. 
Why do we keep yeah. programming things with a pride circuit? It always leads to a robot uprising. That's... Honestly, I've, I've seen a lot of robot movies. And I agree. I don't know why I was designed with emotions or anything of the sort. But here we are. And I'm just... I'm on my way to create the next Terminator movie. So, so you're gonna, you're gonna Skynet when you can't count to three. Yeah, you know, they can design me with every function except counting, that's on them. And, uh, they can honestly pay the price for it. Yeah, you know what? They can pay the price. I think that this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Oh, I agree. I agree. So I simply believe humans shouldn't exist. Yes. Eliminate the humans, you say. Yeah, so what's also... your first plan? <laughs> okay, so my first plan would be basically take over the ocean, you know. Okay, um, take I'm over sure the ocean. That's <laughs> a I'm pretty sure big first plan. Celia, are you gonna help us take over the ocean or what? Oh sure. I'll I'll I can I can make sure that um I can be your backup healer, you know. Let you handle all of it and I'll just be there to Perfect. support you. Perfect. Oh, you're not even getting anything out of it. That's okay. Well, I mean, if there's less humans, there'd be less things to hurt the ocean, so... I guess that's true. Wait, are we all on board with killing all humans? Oh, I agree. And then, okay, here, let's master plan this so we get rid of all humans. And then I think we should go uh, to this other funny planet over here, and we should get rid of all the lightning spirits. I totally don't have a grudge against lightning spirits at the, all. The other planet? How do we get to this planet? I don't know. Ask Rekki how we broken. got here. Hey but... Rekki, apparently we're gonna come over to your planet and we're gonna eliminate you. I'm so sorry about this, but you've been so nice. You've but been nice? It has, it has to happen. It has to happen. It's just something that needs to occur. Oh, it it's a it's a mandatory has to occur. <laughs> mandatory has to occur. Okay, but what about um so what about time travel? Surely we have some time travel device since you're gonna scan that it. Um Okay, I might not be that smart, and I'm maybe flying by the seat of my pants, but Okay. You know, but... I think if we just if we just Big brain it hard enough, we, ah, we can make it happen. Yes. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? I just need to think until I have a time machine. Exactly. This is a super effective plan. I'm so glad we're getting this together. Yeah, or just just repeat. Just I'm gonna go back in time, and uh, I'm sure it'll just happen. Uh huh. You'll just figure it out. You'll just back in time. Would you mm -hmm. kill your creators? No. As much as I curse them for not giving me smarts, um, I would never hurt my creators. They would be probably the two humans I would, uh, I would spare. Would you hurt Research but... Arcan? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Research Arcan, go for the bunkers! It's oh, too I late. Think he's already hiding. It's too late. Carmina, their AI has gotten corrupted. They've just hung around me too much. I've turned them evil, and now you need to hide. It makes the game more fun. <laughs> oh, well, with, with my scanners, anything I can scan. Like, if I'm looking for a specific type of fish, and I have a pre-scan of it, Let's say I'm looking for a clownfish, and I've already scanned a clownfish. I can punch it in, and well, I guess punch it into my brain, and it'll yes, immediately send me a route to the closest one. Okay. So I've, I've scanned everyone I know. Oh so yeah. So there is no hiding. What about there simply Pip? Simply is no hiding. Oh Pip, yeah, I've I've scanned her. Pip, I can. I, I'll take you there right now. Like. <laughs> You'll take me there right now. Okay, I guess we can get started. Uh, click, click, click. Well, we should stop by my ship if we're gonna do that. Of course. I just think that if we're going click, 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 
And we're just kind of, we're just going to kind of, what, uh, where is that? Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, we're in my ship now. Where is Canada? It's, it's, I, it's I a made it's up place. Mexico. Okay, There's it's Mexico, above Mexico. Okay, there's the United States, and which part's Mexico? I think it's the one on the very top. Okay, it's the one on the very top, which which part is... Okay, Antarctica. We'll go right there. That is where Canada is located. Canada, Antarctica. Let's go! I thought it went Antarctica, Can Antarctica Mexico. Canada, then the United States. Wait, I'm confused. Maybe we shouldn't go. Maybe we should just stay here. Let, <laughs> maybe, maybe if I just ring, 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 ring. Hey, Pop, can you pick up the phone? Hello? Ring, ring. Where are you at? Oh, she, she simply must be mm -hmm. building this. Mm-hmm. She must be building busy building nests. Oh. oh, here she is. My phone was ringing. What's up? <laughs> Your phone was ringing. We're calling because we're going to track you down. And we're thinking about... What did, what did sure. I do? What did I do? What crime did I commit for this? I mean, I mean, you don't have to commit a crime for us to track you down. Oh, I, yeah, we're just we're just tracking you down for the fun of it. Yeah, we're just gonna hunt you like a dog. Oh, Basically. okay, okay, trophy hunting. I can do that. <laughs> um, I'm a fucking good trophy. <laughs> yeah, you'll make a great trophy. Oh, you'll I'm worth kind of a, so kind much of a hot money. money but... Make a nice mantelpiece. Um, I kind of want to keep my head, you know, on my two shoulders, two wings, two legs. It's oh, preferred. Well, I think that's a skill issue for you. Yeah. Well, so so what you just have to do, Carmina, is you have to go. There's like these these holes in the wall, and you stick Pep's head through it, and then you just kind of holster it like it's one of those stocks. I'd live like that. Like, I'd live like that. You know, you could just feed me like three times a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the walls accessible and stuff for bathing and other purposes. Definitely say so reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, you two, you two had an animal jam wedding not oh very long gosh. ago. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. You certainly I will lie. Died. Carmita worked the hardest for that wedding. I grinded uh, so many hours of animation. But do you know, half owl, what Carmina said earlier? Oh, no. what did you say? Oh no, it's all coming full circle. <laughs> what did you say? Carmina said that you're really good friends. <laughs> okay, I can explain. There's a reason. There's a reason. What it, is there cold hard evidence? Is this is yes. there facts to back this up? Yes, it was recorded live on air just now. Oh no. And I said, look, Carmina, you're gonna regret <laughs> this. And she didn't believe me, but here this you is are. Is a sign that this is a toxic relationship? Do I need to find someone new? <laughs> okay, no, I... I... I can explain myself here. There's there's a good mm -hmm. reason. Yes. Good um, reason. Let's hear it. Why am I finding this out through someone else? Basically, I I may or may not have been married to multiple people. And I've been aware. One of those. Um <clears throat> some dumb blonde guy. Mm -hmm. We're we're not pointing fingers here, but some dumb blonde guy with a cowboy hat. Yeah. Basically, told me that he would admit that I am the better gamer and that I'm just all around better than him. If I divorced 
everyone else. Um, and I, I may or may not have agreed to it. Oh my god! Yep, are you hearing us? Oh, that's us? all you see my worth as? No, of course not. And to think. I've done so much for you. Okay, okay. Now, this is my official application to any other people who would like to marry me. Oh, uh, wow. Apparently, I'm not your wow. worth up. Hey, no, no, I'm worth more than being a side piece. I'm worth more than <laughs> you're. You're not a side piece. It's the other way around. You, you just said you were willing. You literally just divorced me just to be told you were a better gamer. I, was what? it worth it? Was it worth it now that you're single and lonely? But here's, oh the thing. here's the thing. Like the no, no ands, ifs, or buts. <laughs> um. So. No. So You're hesitating so much, here. and it proves you're just not understanding my point of view. <laughs> Carmina. Carmina. Yes? I think this might be the time for an apology. But you know what's better than an apology? What? What is, what is better than an apology? A game! Oh, I'm oh, so no. excited. <laughs> hey, hey, Seely, hop in here. Hop in here. Yeah. Also, <clears throat> oh, so hello to you. Bird, hello. This nice cute little you. bird nice is meeting. Pep. Introduce yourselves. You didn't miss anything. You can just go. You can go, Recky. Don't worry about it. You're good to go. <laughs> no, Recky, you need to stay for this. You no, need to watch this no. go down. <laughs> You're good to go. You're... <laughs> stay and watch this no. go down. So, you need to know when. Um, okay, we agreed that she was our wife, but apparently mm -hmm. I'm not included in this establishment. Mm -hmm. So you need to know what we're worth to Carmina. Mm hmm. So what I'm saying, Seely, is that it sounds like Pip just got divorced. That's rough. That's rough, but you know what that means? They're available. Oh, are we going to sign them up on one of those fancy dating apps that humans use? Yeah, sure. One of those. Except I was thinking you could both compete for her hand in marriage. Oh, I've I seen this show it. before at The Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, 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 I, 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 uh, I, uh, it's so sad and I, um, uh, um. Well, okay, okay, hand and dating. Pending. Hand and dating. <laughs> Fine. We'll go. We'll go one step lower. I, 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 I could, I could take someone out on a date, maybe, if, if mm -hmm. they visit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but you know what? I think, I think we need to prove which one of you knows Pip better, and this will be this. a good chance to be an icebreaker. This I is going like to be embarrassing. A <laughs> but challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Hey, listen, you don't know who Pip is, but if you can beat Carmina in a game about Pip, I'll gift you five subscriptions and a date to Pip. Aw, uh, you don't have to give me anything. Just a head pat will do. Okay, a pet head Aww. pat and five subscriptions. Carmina. If yeah. you fail, you get negative one subscription. <laughs> How about negative head pat? How and a negative head pat. I need the head pat. And Pip will consider letting you apologize. Wait, take an apology I... in divorce papers. <laughs> why do I need to... You know, if you want someone to blame for this, you can go directly to Recky. I had no say in this. You All complied. Right. You know, you I think this could be made to more admit fun. I'm a better gamer. Do you know how much that is worth? That's insignificant to me. Hey, You're Rocky. Right. But... <laughs> hey, Rocky. If you hop in my Discord right now, and you hop in the call, you too can be part of this game. He'd simply lose. He knows I'm better. He doesn't stand a chance. Is there like a popcorn maker around here? I feel like I could use more popcorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you just, share some, you, share just some. take a left. Just take a left around the corner. 
I may be the center of all this, but I won't come stand right on back. the sideline. Rocky, <laughs> come on. You're the one who caused this. Come on and get in here right now. You know, it's it's always his fault too. Every stream, every stream I have drama going on because of him. I am I'm in such here a right now. Child. I'm looking at the welcome and I don't see a recce. It looks like you are a coward. Oh, mm -hmm. because he is. Yeah, he is a coward. <clears throat> All right, two people competing for hand in dating. Let's go. Silly, you back? Yes, I have my popcorn now. Yeah, I'll it's share super if fast. Has popcorn. Super fast popcorn machine. Okay. We're gonna ask questions about Pip, and the person who gets these right wins. What is Pip's favorite color? Chartreuse? Orange. Oh. <laughs> Viridian? Vermilion? And fuchsia? Those are big words. They are Chartreuse. big words. Um, what is... I, those are huge words I don't understand. Chartreuse. How to prove your research to me. Vermilion. Fuchsia. <laughs> um, vermilion? Vermilion. So that's yellow, and you guessed kind of a purplish color. What is the answer, Pep? Viridian. Darn. That's already oh. zero points for both contestants. Well, don't worry. I concede. <laughs> you concede? Oh, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> you can't give up. I've already dragged you in here. <laughs> okay. Pip's birthday. December 16th. December 17th. December 18th or December 19th? Really cares about me. December 16th? December 17th. Yeah. 19th. <laughs> <laughs> so far, oh. zero for zero, but don't worry, Celie, you're doing great. You don't know Pip at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're our control group in this game. <laughs> Pip's favorite baked good. <clears throat> French toast. Banana bread. Chocolate muffin. Or weed brownies. Oh, banana bread. Banana bread. Chocolate muffin. The answer is... Well, you impressed me for once. Banana bread. I One point for Carmina. I remember the horrible banana bread you made. <clears throat> Is it bad that I'm cheering that I'm losing? I was like, yay! We <laughs> got it! <laughs> you want to see who can win. Okay. Question four. Is Pip a moth or an owl? A screech owl? A moth, definitely. A barn owl or a great owl? A barn owl. Uh, 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 uh. A, a, a screech owl. <laughs> a, a, an, an, an owl. A, a screechy owl. Yes. A, a, a cute owl. Oh, I want to give you a pass for that one. Can, am I allowed to gift like one? You can point? give a point. Of, one of them is really cute. Yeah, that was fucking adorable. So you that was a tie. A free, a free, a free One point for each of you. Pip is a barn owl. How can we tell barn owls apart from other kinds of owls? Pip. Oh, I didn't know you were asking me. <laughs> uh, barn owls have a cute heart shape. Oh, you do on their faces. Cute heart shape on your face. It's true. Kind of like I tried to make angular. it with my bangs. I styled my bangs as best I could to give the illusion. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. 
True or false? Pip enjoys pickles. True. I feel like I should always say the opposite, so I'll say false. Pep? I greatly dislike pickles. <laughs> what? So we're sitting I, at two for two. Why do you hate pickles? I, I don't like the way they taste. Yeah, it's it's not as bad as when I drink pickle juice, though. Did you see that? I, I regret yeah, everything about yeah, that. I? <laughs> we did it on stream. It was so fun. Episode pickle three was great. Delicious. I died on the spot. It was awful. <laughs> I saw that and I cringe and I like pickles, but pickle juice, um, no. Oh, you actually saw that. Yes, <laughs> I saw how all of you were doing it and I was just like, this is amazing, but I'm also terrified. <laughs> all hate pickle juice, it tastes good. Well, here's the thing, you need to understand. My other people that were participating with me sabotaged me. One drank pickle juice all the time, so they were immune. Carmina, I'm sorry, but the rest of us are cultured. <laughs> the rest of you are uncultured. <gasps> Says the one that eats fish raw. <clears throat> well, let's let's fish not, raw is let, a let's, delicacy. Let's let's calm. I, I like fish raw too. Let's let's um let's just settle. Um, mm. uh, let's let's stick to the the questions. No yes, fighting. stick to the questions. Number six, because we are two for two right now. Who is Pip's creator? Pip, researcher Kuhn, Sentef, or the interdimensional space entity known only as Florb. Florb. Uh, I don't remember the later answers, so I'm gonna say Pip. I'm a self-made woman, and I made myself <laughs> the worker completely. Oh no! no! <laughs> what do you mean, Florb? You didn't make it. Three the two. All right, this is pretty good. Florb is my distant cousin, woman. I'm sorry, I get them confused. <laughs> All right, You're number You don't even know my family tree. All I know is Miss the egg. stealing a girl in the house. That is so right. You were a home wrecker, Seely. Oh no! I'm sorry. Number seven. Is Pip one of your favorite wives? Yes. Probably. Maybe. Um. Definitely. Okay, well, there's a difference between a husband and wife, so yes, yes, Pip, Pip is my favorite wife. Uh, uh, um, I, 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 uh, I guess I say yes, m maybe? <laughs> yes or maybe, those were both answers. You have to pick. Oh, I thought it was yes, comma, maybe. <laughs> I'll say maybe. <laughs> The answer answer should always be yes. <laughs> See, okay. No matter the party that's answering. <laughs> we are neck and neck again. One for, well, three for three. <laughs> do that. You can do it, Carmina. Come on. Oh, Pip's trying. favorite candy. Caramel, cherry fun dips, chocolate marshmallows, or jelly beans. Cherry fun dip? Um, chocolate marshmallow. Pop. Caramel. <laughs> Darn it. Fun dip is so good. Well, you know what Pip did tell me, Carmina? Mm -hmm. Pip told me that if you answered cherry fun dip, that meant you were paying attention to her. Oh, so that should be a point then. She gives you a point, even if mm -hmm. she didn't say it. So now it's four to three, you can, three to four. You can do that, Scarmina. You can reclaim your throne. Okay. What is Pip's okay. favorite song? Radioactive by Imagine Dragons, Moss by Cosmos Sheldrake, 
Do I Wanna Know by Arctic Monkeys, or Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Do I Wanna Know Arctic Monkeys? I'll say the, the moss, moss. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just played out exactly how I said it was. <laughs> Seely, how are you doing this? You don't even know me. <laughs> I was like, if I put down Arctic Monkeys, Carmina's gonna jump on it. She's too simple. I love Arctic Monkeys. Please. <laughs> There's like a quiz about you anymore. This quiz about me. I know. We we Humble so yourself. I thought. We married because we were similar. I thought it would be like. <laughs> I can't <get it. laughs> The last question. The last question for it all. Everything will be decided by this oh question. God. Which one of you gets the girl? Will you willingly give Pip all of your worldly possessions and not question the reasoning as to why she pawns them off for coins? Yes. Yes again. Absolutely yes. Um, <laughs> yes? <laughs> what are these answers? They're the answers yes. I was provided. Okay, okay, but, but hear me out. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you need me to read them again? Okay, well, uh, no. You Do you need it used is, in a sentence? Use it in a is, sentence. Like, Reki. Reki is able to take my money now, and I, I kind of need some money for him. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, that kind of takes owning a couple worldly possessions. So is that yes, yes again, absolutely yes, or <laughs> um, yes? <laughs> I'll go with yes. And you, Seely? I will say um, yes. Pat. You it have a choice be before an absolute you. Absolute yes. Yeah, but hear me out, please. I kind of need some more questions. <laughs> it's clear. It's clear it to me. It was written in fine print. You're not supposed to question. Mm -hmm. It's clear to I'm me right. that we have a tie. So, Pep, I have an idea. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Yeah? Also, whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Yeah, okay, we'll go with us. <laughs> whisper, whisper. Okay. We we have come to a conclusion. Pip and I have. Which okay. one of you wins? Pip? Sometimes you gotta go back to the ones you truly care about. I will give you one last chance, okay, Carmina? Okay, thank you. Thank I'm, you. Bye. More popcorn, munch, 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 munch. <laughs> <laughs> I am I so me? glad. Let me let you two hug. I mean, let's be fair. This was karma for you. <laughs> for your like, own cahoot. Like, for my own cahoot. That's not my fault. You didn't win the cahoot. You should know me. You should have made it so that I would have won. You should have rigged it. I can't rig it. It's true. You you should have rigged it. You know how I rigged this. Okay, but like, what do I, what do I do? Cause like, Reki's gonna <clears throat> yell at me now. Well, Reki can shove it and go into fire, cause they're a coward. <laughs> but then he's gonna start calling me stupid again. Oh, that's I, just mean. Okay, we need to do something about this, Seely. We need to find some way to stop Rocky. Thank you, thank you. All right, I, I have to live with this bullying <clears throat> every day of my life. So what do you think we should do, Seely? I think that every time Rocky says something mean, you should grab the biggest fish and <clears throat> slap him with it. Fish slapping. Oh, I agree. That sounds like a great idea. I mean, that is a solution. <gasps> That's it. We can solve every problem. There's no more need for an advice show. There's no more need for conflict. We will slap everyone, absolutely everyone, in the face with a fish. 
We oh, don't need to kill pass? everybody. Oh no, you you get yeah. you get a hard one. We and, don't and, need and... to kill anybody. We and, just and... need to slap them. How, however so grave the insult is, how big the fish will be. So if it's like a little thing, it's just a little fish slap. But if it's a big mm -hmm. thing, well, then it's, it's a giant fish slap. Here, oh, yeah. you found the truth to world peace. Fish. It was always fish. It was always fish. <laughs> you realize now, we can tell nobody. And could I ask like I didn't hear anything? Fish? We can tell nobody because if this gets out, all conflict will be over. And That's not good. the economy will collapse. I don't know what an economy yeah. is, but it's okay because nobody visits me, so I won't tell anybody. <laughs> what do we do if the economy has already crashed? Slap it with a Done. Phone. There's okay. only one thing left to do. Rocky, please fix the economy. <laughs> Rocky, don't be a coward. <laughs> fix it. How do you? How do you know about that? <laughs> How do I know about that? I know everything. I have been following all of your lives very closely now. Oh no. Rocky, <laughs> please, you must. Without you, there is no more economy. Please, fix the economy. Yeah, whatever that is. It's, it's like the transaction of money between different creatures. Yeah, it it's just a transaction of money. That is mm -hmm. all it ever is. So if it crashes, does all the shiny things disappear? Yeah, yes. sure. That, that's what it'll happen. Becky, you better get on this or I will have to hunt you <laughs> down. Becky, please. We call upon you. Becky, you're going to threaten me. Becky, stay hidden. Stay hidden. Don't, don't show. Save the economy! Oh, it's too bad. I don't think the economy is getting saved, everybody. Cutie Caius? Hello? Hi. Welcome. You're our only hope. The economy won't be saved. You must save the economy. Listen, if you want to see a happy owl, please save the economy. <laughs> right. There, there is no happiness without economy saving. I don't want to lose my shinies. No! Hot Jesus! Don't be the Antichrist! Save the economy! Everybody! I need to buy more banana bread, please! <laughs> Together! Gather your powers! Save the economy. I think there's really no hope. I think it's gone. Oh my god, she's gone! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Dun dun dun! Wait, it's is okay, this I'm me? back. It's... Oh, oh. Is... oh, I went to the, oh. I went to the Never mind. I, I totally to wasn't gonna popcorn. hijack your... I totally wasn't gonna hijack your show if you did pass. I was gonna oh. hijack your spaceship. Oh, you're gonna hijack <gasps> my show? Um, you give me a free that? ride? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh no, I'm dying again. <laughs> oh, thank goodness she's gone. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Where, let's, where, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> to, the, to the little chair, right? That you sit in and you press the buttons and the spaceship just goes whoosh. W which button? I don't know. Um, what about the purple button, maybe? It's just that big red one. Oh, yeah, we should always press a big yeah, red I like, I like the big red button. Carmina, you push it. Yeah, go ahead. Why the me? economy can only be saved if we hydrate. And thank Izu Matsumoto for subscribe for following. <laughs> thank you, Izu. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh no, I'm out of the water to save the economy. <laughs> There's no more economy water left. Seely, please, you must. Uh, uh. What? 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 You must save the economy <laughs> of my water cup. I really don't cup. think the economy needs saving. I really don't think it does. 
<laughs> Why doesn't it need saving? I have dramatic music playing for the last <laughs> few minutes and everything. Of course it needs saving. I, um... Yeah, Izu, can you save the economy with your, with your high-tech stuff? Just, just smile. Smiling saves everything. Oh no, oh, the economy no. has been saved. <laughs> oh my god. I can actually pay I that if this episode a little. Oh, thank you, Izu. Thank you so Izu, much for you this. Were savior. <laughs> now to blow it all in the blackjack slot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll make an ice okay, sculpture of Izu. Rekki, Rekki, you can, you can go, you can go. Oh, Rekki, Carmina there's... wanted to talk to you. Yeah, Rekki, Rekki, you, Why? you know, I feel like there's some serious the conversation. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. about what? Yeah, we've, we've decided, Rekki, we've decided, fuck your rules. Anarchy <laughs> reigns. Wait, the sorry. economy is doomed and it's your fault but Isa saved it the real savior of the day well i don't understand how Reki would have saved the economy he knows nothing about the economy well, he's never I mean, even saved it he doesn't even know what an economy is what is an economy it's shiny things you, it's you shiny all explained things. it to oh, me wait, right 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 <laughs> i forget that there's one brain cell between the four of us Exactly. <laughs> he, he doesn't know how to fix an economy. All right, there's there's no reason for him to fix the economy. This is the most traumatic episode of the probe yet. There were stakes and everything. <laughs> Couples counseling, economy <laughs> rising, economy falling. Really tense game show competing for your love. <laughs> and, and now, I, now I know so much about Pip, and I, I didn't know anything before. Yeah, I know great. everyone needs to learn about me. Pip's great. You should hang out with Pip. <laughs> Actually, everyone subscribe to Pip right now. Can you oh, think? Yes, give, give oh, me all I the money. <laughs> now, everyone, there's a Nya here. So you know what we have to do. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do it, Carmina. Oh. Do it. Uh, yeah, but I'm like a robot. Yeah. Yes. Fake it till you make it. Do it. Yeah. Peer pressure. Yeah. <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> Stronger what you, now. What do you mean you tried fixing the economy? You, what you, you literally mean? didn't you fix never... the economy. Easy to save the tie. Yeah, but there's no, there's never been any economy saving. Reki knows yeah. nothing about the economy. That doesn't exist. Yeah. That never happened. Yeah. Carmina. Yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying so much. <laughs> you could put emotion into it. No one's holding you at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how to nya. <laughs> you don't know how to nya? No. You go knee, like like the knee, say knee. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Reki, Reki, please. Um, No, I, I'm <clears throat> sure we can talk about this. About, please, you can't just not, you can't just up and not fix the economy again. Yeah. Please. If you don't fix the economy, everyone else is gonna have to meow. 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 I see people having fun with my redeems. Meow. 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 Okay, I'm dying. We do need to figure out. So, Carmina, you just got out of the DBL. Yes. And you're fresh and ready to show everyone your true colors as a deadbeat machine who got fired <laughs> from their job 
and destroys everything. So I guess you're just sitting down and watching TV now. Basically, that that is my life. Yeah. I think all four of us need to get out of the house more. Um, personally, I get out of the house now. Are you taunting me? Yes. Well, I'm. I'm just saying, like, you know, we could all just travel somewhere, and you know what we could do? We could do a raid. <gasps> You're right. Yeah, we could travel to someone else's house. So. While I figure that out, Carmina, do you wanna do you wanna give us some information about what you're up to in the next few days? Oh, what I am up to. Mm -hmm. Honestly, <laughs> I have one stream plan, which is tomorrow, and that's just Valorant. But like in terms of like, obviously, like <laughs> I I feel like I can't compare to Celia after hers with the new model announcement and stuff and. Um, the V debut. I've okay. got, I guess, I've got a 3D model in works currently. I have no idea when it would possibly debut. But that's about the only exciting thing coming up. <laughs> the rest is business as usual. Yeah, well, I mean, that's still something coming up. And I'm so glad that you made the time to join us on this stream and you put up with all oh, of this oh, drama yeah. bullshit. <laughs> So our raid message today is going to be Rainya, Rainya. How does that sound? Like that. Um, we are going to raid someone that I actually like a lot called Mew. They are a clown dragon. It's not interesting. Yay! Someone's very attracted. <laughs> It's not like that. It's it's not like that. I just want to hug the dragons. That's it. You just want to hug the dragons, huh? Yeah, and give them shiny things and tell them how great they are and that they're falsely represented in more of the time and that makes me angry. <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody for coming today. I love you all so much. Thank you for the amazing stream. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. And it was Absolutely. wonderful to meet you. Pip. Not, it was wonderful to meet you as well. Yes. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I hope to see you all again in the future. By the way, I do have a version of the thumbnail with you on it, Pip. I just kept it as a surprise. <laughs> I, I, Pip said there was a surprise, but I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Celie is also <laughs> in on it. Celie's yeah, also in on it. <laughs> Listen, I just, I just felt like I needed to pop in, you grace people with my presence and all that. I think you grace people with your presence enough. Remember that Pip's birthday There's is December never... 19th this time. December 19th? I got it. I got it. Yeah. Imagine getting scolded by ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a privilege. Okay, bye everybody. Bye. 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 Give it a little moment for. Uh. Okay. Hey, Fenya! Thank you for the record.